The Mariners' first baseman, Ty France, absolutely punishing an 86 mile per hour cutter off of Dallas Keuchel of the Chicago White Sox. And Ty, joining us now, thanks for taking a few moments to be with us in the Windy City. I know that you're no stranger to hitting home runs. That was your first of the season. You have 30 in your young MLB career. But take me through what it feels like to be able to absolutely just crush a ball like that. Yeah, it felt good. Um, you know, get the first one out of the way, get the ball rolling. Um, you know, he hammer, hammered the cutter in and, uh, you know, beat him to the spot. So it was, it was nice to get the first one out of the way. Four ribbies so far for you, Ty, coming into this season, this young season. What has been the biggest thing for you to focus on this year coming into 2022? Uh, just trying to stick with, you know, my approach and uh, trying to stay consistent. I had a little rough patch last year where, you know, I tried to battle through an injury and knowing when to say, you know, enough's enough and, you know, just any way I could help the team. Um, if I am hurting the team, need to, you know, let them know that, hey, you know, something's off. But um, just do what I can to stay healthy for all 62 and go out and play my, my game. You know, you said that you had a rough patch last year, and I think anybody can experience that in their career, certainly. But you also had a breakout year, and you were also voted the Mariners MVP by the BW uh, AAA group, as far as that's concerned. Why do you think you had a rough patch? Take me a little bit through your mentality with that. Um, yeah, I was actually battling a little wrist injury. Um, we were in Houston. I dove for a ball and, uh, you know, kind of bruise. I think there was a bone bruise on my wrist. and. Uh, you know, just tried to push through it. Um, I've always been the kind of person to push through things, and it got to a point where, you know, it was not only hurting myself more, but hurting the team more. Um, so I think that had a lot to do with that little downslide. Tied for Major League Baseball with 27 hit by pitches yesterday, you would make Chase Utley proud, uh, as well as Don Baylor. What is it about that part of your game that you appreciate so much? Um, you know, I, I wish I had an answer for you, but it's just always, it's, it's, <laughs> I've done it since college. So I, I've, you were praised for not getting out of the way in college. So it, it just kind of stuck with me. Um, you know, it's, it's been something I've done my entire baseball career and I, I don't enjoy it. It hurts, but you know, it helps the team. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't walk a lot either. So I, it gets me on base. So whatever I can do. Uh, literally taken one for the team. It is cold there in Chicago. It appears to be it is windy. You guys have gone to a couple of cities that are cold. How excited are you to get back home to Seattle, have your home opener, be in front of your fans, fans that are very eager to see what this Mariners team can do this year? Yeah, very excited. Um, this road trip has felt extremely long. Definitely looking forward to getting back to Seattle in front of our fans. And you know the way the way last season ended, and you know how many fans showed up for us. We're we're excited to get back there and just be able to play in front of them again. And this fan base, more than anybody, is chomping at the bit for you guys to get into the postseason. You were eliminated on the last day of the year last year and haven't been to the postseason since 2001. I know that you guys know that better than anybody. What makes you think that this is the year that you guys can get it done? Um, I, th I think we're a little bit older now. We have a little more experience. And, um, you know, we the front office added a bunch of key additions to this team. And um, it's a good good group of guys we got over there. We've we've meshed really well. And um, you know, I, I think this team's set out to do do big things from from the young guys all the way to the, the oldest guy on this team. You know, it's it's a good group. And, you know, we're excited to you know give these fans what they deserve. Yeah, you have a good mix on that team, Ty, and now Kyle Seeger has retired. Who do you lean on in that clubhouse to just talk about baseball, just talk about hitting advice, or just to bounce ideas off of? Um, my my go-to guys are Mitch and JP. Um, you know, along along with Kyle last year, they they helped you know push me along, and um, they're very smart baseball guys. So to be able to lean on those guys and use them, it's it's been huge in my development. A downy California kid, you went to San Diego State. You were coached by one of the best in Tony Gwynn Sr., one of the greatest to ever play this game. What was it like being coached and, and taught by a Hall of Famer? Uh, it was incredible. Um, you know, it's it's something you don't really understand until you're done done playing there. He treated everyone. He, he wasn't, you know, Tony Gwynn, the Hall of Famer. He was Coach Gwynn. Everyone, I still to this day refer to him as Coach Gwynn, and he did a very good job of letting you know right away, hey, you know, I'm not this, you know, God, basically, of baseball. It's, it's, I'm your coach. I'm here to make you better. 
here to get you to the next level. And, um, you know, being able to play for someone who is so good at that and, um, you know, it was, it's, it was a true honor. Ty, your fourth season in Major League Baseball, but as we mentioned, you're a San Diego State um, kid. You, you grew up in California. You're drafted by the Padres. What was that moment like for you? I mean, not only going to school right down the street, but being able to realize your dream uh, with, the, with the Friars. Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. It was a surreal moment. Um, one, just hearing your name called um, you know, on draft day and then going through their system. You know, being a 34th rounder, you're not really expected to go very far. And, um, you know, they, they treated me they've, you know, very well. So I have to thank them a lot for that. And, um, you know, getting to step, step out on the field at Petco Park for the first time, that was, that was pretty crazy too. But, um, yeah, you know, no, nothing but love for San Diego. Ty, it doesn't matter that you were drafted in the 34th round. You were a big leaguer. You're in your fourth big league season, your first home run of the year last night. Many more to come. Thanks so much for taking the time to be with us today on High Heat. Yeah, of course, anytime.